Hey everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Where is evening time? Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing today? I am here to um to bring you guys what happened on uh, court today. My my apologies, y'all. I just want to tell y'all something. Um, whenever something's going good, something always happens. Y'all know that something always happens. And um, I got home, got a call from my husband, had to go out. He was in a car accident. He's fine, y'all. Don't, he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He just don't need to be driving. He, his driving sucks. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to be like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to be mean, but he, uh, who's that? So that, so I did not get a chance to, um, upload my stuff into this computer here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um because everything happened i'm going to go ahead and get my sd card and just give me a minute i just don't want to be late getting on here because i don't want to be you know getting black people time so um i'm going to go get the sd card and bring it to you guys because i thought I, I thought i could airdrop it from my um from my um what's the name to here but it don't airdrop i'm sorry does anybody know how to airdrop okay um yeah he's fine y'all he's fine the car is damaged but he's good he is good he is good hold on do anybody know how to airdrop from the um from the laptop to the desktop anybody know how to do that anybody know how to airdrop Nobody know that airdrop. Okay, so I'm gonna go downstairs and get my um my disc. Just bear bear a second with me, okay? Tessie said me too. Did you? Yes, I ate. Big ego. I'm a look, yeah. Big ego. You know what? I'm gonna blame you because big ego jinxed me today. But um, let me go get my um my because I had I had put it on here. You know what? Should I just switch to here? No, no. We'll we'll just. I'll um just be you know how black folks are can't get things right for nothing. All right, just talk to each other, and I will be right back. Okay, because I'm gonna go get the the um the card and then um put it on my computer, and so you guys have it have it right because I don't know how to do an airdrop from from my phone. Okay, hold on, y'all, hold on. I know the suspense. You know, you just have to linger it a little bit, just a little bit, just linger it. And somebody's gonna complain. Well, well, you got on there. Okay, listen to some jazz. Hold on, I'll be right back.
All right, guys, I am ready. I am ready. All right, sorry about that. I um wanted to get this guy, this stuff ready. All right, guys, y'all ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? You guys ready? Y'all ready for Mr. Ernesto? This is his um his um bond motion today, which you guys already know he was denied. But let me go ahead and present this to you guys. And are we ready? Are we ready, good people? Are we ready for this? Let me put myself at the bottom. Y'all ready? <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for this. Y'all been waiting, waiting all day long, and I'm going to give it to you guys. Let me move myself out the way so you guys can see him, see the whole thing. All right. He's going to come out that door. I was trying to make um, the lighting was so bright in there. So I'm going to do another video to show it better lighting. But since you guys wanted it and I was late coming home, dealing with my husband's accident. Um, so you guys ready? Guys, ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. I know I'm I'm being I'm making it suspensive, right? It's suspenseful, but he, uh, all right, let's go. Here come Mr. Nesto, Mr. Nasty Nesto. Y'all ready? Let's go. <laughs> Nasty Nesto. You see how he looked over at me? Did y'all see how he looked over at me, y'all? <laughs> he looked over at me. Y'all remember, I'm not a photographer. I'm doing my best. This is my first time having to do photography work. See how they keep looking at me? They looking at me in the camera. Because they were surprised. They didn't think I was supposed to be there. That's what she did. I got to tell y'all in a minute. The judge is behind a glass. <laughs> guys, get the hit the likes, guys. See, I see me trying to zoom in to catch him. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I was trying to zoom in to catch him. Hey, Funko.
A P.O. box. Um, somebody put my P.O. box in the chat, please. This is an exclusive of This is an exclusive of Infamous Sylvia. Sylvia. This is an exclusive of Infamous 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 Sylvia. Um, this is the matter of the state of Georgia versus Ernest Williams. The defendant is in custody on complaint. Number 23 CP 219961. Charged in that complaint uh, with aggravated, aggravated sexual battery, rape, aggravated assault, sodomy, sexual battery, and trafficking a person for sexual servitude. Uh, it appears that Mr. Williams was arrested on July 7th of 2022. And has been continuously in custody since that time. The motion to provide was filed September 25th uh, of this year. It appears that Mr. Williams's first appearance hearing was July 10th. Should that be 23? Has, has he been in custody since July 22 or 23? July 22. All right. Uh, I'm seeing. I thought it was the first appearance form from July 10th of 2023. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Did he have an earlier hearing? He was in custody on other CP cases. Got it. All right. So in connection with this this complaint, um, there was a, a bond hearing in July of 23. Um, during that hearing, the $50,000 bond was set on one of the counts. Um, and there was subsequently it appears a preliminary hearing. Is that correct, counsel? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Is your last name Yes, yes. All right. Um, and that is what brings me before the court. And so the court is right. Yes, Your Honor. My name is Mr. Williams. He is 58 years old, and he is a lifelong resident of the state of Georgia. And he does have the majority of his family here, including his six children that are all grown adults. He has a 12th grade education from Richmond Academy, and prior to his arrest in 2022, he owned and operated several businesses. Um, his incarceration has, of course, put those businesses on pause, and they have not been operating since then. Um, he does have significant ties to the community, as he's been here his entire life. I do not believe Mr. Williams is a flight risk. I do see one FTA on his GCIC from 2004, but it is nearly 20 years old. And Mr. Williams is looking forward to his day in court to prove his innocence of all charges against him. I would ask your honor to please set bond in this case and for a bond not to exceed 100,000 total. Uh, the FTA from 2004 was in connection with my offense. Uh, one moment, your honor. This is, I believe that charge is allowed. This is an exclusive on infamous Sylvia. So. 
This is an exclusive of information. This is an exclusive of information. Look at me doing a close up, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to get this dude's face. Your Honor, yes, it looks like um, the failure to appear was from a probation, um, and the charges are armed robbery and theft of receiving. And are those charges still open? <laughs> Not to my knowledge, no. Anything else? Nothing further, Your Honor. The state? Did y'all hear that? He told her to sign the contract in blood. Then the judge is going to ask, what do you mean by that? Hold on. Did you, wait a minute, y'all, did you hear that? He pricked the girl's finger and made her sign the contract in blood. Did y'all hear that? Okay. I'm going to have to play it for you guys again. Blood contract. Yes, blood. Compelled and coerced into these activities. Furthermore, he was saying that he is a flight risk There were several jail calls where he uh, talked about leaving the country. One jail call he talked about what having to go to Dubai because he had a way to do so. There were other jail calls where he discussed okay somebody just asked me to rewind that hold on y'all i'm gonna rewind it back a little bit and um we're gonna play it again and are those charges still open mm -hmm. not to my knowledge no anything else nothing further your honor the state yeah, Insist that she needs to engage in these activities and that he's going to help her with 
under prayer. He also works for the design contract in blood. Um, yeah. Basically, he pricked her finger, you know, took the blood and gave her son. Um, she was young again in 19 and felt compelled and coerced into these activities. Furthermore, he could say that he is a black prisoner. There were several jail calls where he uh, talked about leaving the country. One jail call he talked about what had to go into some divine because he had a name to do so. There were other jail calls where he expressed born on the states of Florida as well as other locations. Right? And not only to the racial community and employment, the victim is still very scared for her life. She um, is not pregnant in the world today, but it's just her, the fact that she's still severely traumatized and um, it's the fear of him intimidating and coming together and people to get out. The state of our based on all those facts and the fact that he does have several um, cycles for criminal history. He had 19 cycles and at least four convictions. One conviction was in 1988 for theft. Another conviction was in 1990 for armed robbery and uh, possession of a firearm. And another conviction, he had armed robbery again. That was related to the failure to appear as discussed by defense. Was that a conviction in 2004 or has that case not been formally charged? The armed robbery. And let, me, and let me just be clear, counsel, I'm not interested in cycles. I'm interested in felony convictions. Yes, Your Honor. These are convictions that are related to your office. All right. So we have a 1990 armed robbery, a 19, 1988 theft. And a 1992 armed robbery in January. There is also a 2006 false statement, guilty conviction, Your Honor. All right. So let's go back to the 1988 theft case. Where did that come? In Post County, Before what judge? <laughs> What was the sentence? Your Honor, because that case was in 1988, I do not have the full reading. I do know that he was sentenced to four years of probation and that it occurred, uh, the sentencing was in August of 1989. And the 1990 armed robbery, what jurisdiction? That was in Cobb County, Your Honor. The sentence in that case? Your Honor, I do not have the sentence for the Cobb County. I do know that it was a 10 year conviction. And the sentence is 10 years? Yes, Your Honor. 10 years of compliance. But you just suggested the state going forward when we have these kinds of hearings. The prior history is helpful to the court. And that includes the date of conviction, the nature of the charge, the jurisdiction, and the sentence. Thank All of that information. I don't know what other judges need, but that's what I mean. Thank you, Your Honor. As to the 1992 armed robbery. That was in Beverly County, Your Honor. He was sentenced to 10 years. So is that a concurrent sentence to the Cobb case? It is, Your Honor. And was that a straight custodial sentence? It was 10 years of compliance, Your Honor. Right. And when I say straight, was there any period of probation? Or... No, Your Honor. It was straight Thank you. Question, Ms. Taylor. All right, and the fourth conviction was what? It was for giving false statements, Your Honor, in Cobb County on August 9th of 2006. The sentence? It looks like he was sentenced to one year of confinement, Your Honor. Straight confinement. What's the jurisdiction for that one again, please? That was in Cobb County. Cobb. Anything else? No, there are several pending charges. Um, they are CP numbers. The state is intending to add those to the right. I'd like to know a bit about those because when I look at the booking information, I have their quite a number of you've indicated cycles, but I'm unable to tell what the status of most of these uh, cases is. So, how many pending on another cases are there? So, there are one, two, there are Four pending unindicted cases, Your Honor. There were two others that were dismissed, but will likely be brought again. Um, there's pending investigation on those cases, Your Honor. Do you have incident dates from the pending cases? 
So one date was um, July 12th. Another one was on July 12th of what year? I'm sorry, I thought that was one case is September 27th of 2021. Right, but if, well, you're losing the council. Are we talking about July 12th or September? I'm sorry, yes, September. Okay, again, please. Can we yeah. hold the door open? I can't hear. September 27th of 2021. <coughs> it is a seven by the section of date. What jurisdiction is it? Are all of these in full time? All right. There is another case that is June 23rd of 2021. It is a death by the section of the There is a case from July 7th of 2022. It is for possession of child pornography. And there is, if you're ready, on, there is also a case for death by dissection of June the 4th of 2022, also at Fulton County, death by dissection. So I guess the question is, if we continue to be such a uh, danger to the community of flight risk, why do we have all these pending cases, particularly? Uh, the one involving child pronouncing well, that involves allegations of child pronouncing. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we've been in contact with the law enforcement agency and we're awaiting several pieces of child sexually explicit material that had to be used before we were indicted. We want to make sure we have the correct charges. Well, how sure you have to be for something that's alleged to the part of the review? Right? Uh, and, and, and the reason I'm asking that question is because if the state contends, as you've argued, and I think I understand your argument to some extent that Mr. Williams is dangerous, if he was arrested for child pornography in July of 22, and the state wasn't diligent in moving forward with prosecution, he's back out. Now we have a second alleged victim of similar crimes. Your Honor, uh, actually, the case is kind of simultaneous. Uh, what is the incident date for this case? When he was arrested, this I just case, need to know the incident date. This case was July of 2022. All right. July of what? When I say this case, I mean the CP case for which uh, the court is holding the body. Okay. You know, I have to do some background. I no, you can answer my question first. What is the date for the aggravated sexual battery case that's on account? The date for the aggravated sexual battery case is July 7th of 2022. It is a death by dissection of June 4th of 2019. January 8th of 2019. Right. Now you can give me the background information. Okay. As I was saying, basically, the case all came about when there was allegations of fraud. When they found the fraud allegations, the four cases came about. During the investigation for the fraud, officers extracted and reviewed cell phones and other devices and found the child pornography. The child pornography led to a further investigation, which Several, there was kind of press release. Once Mr. Williams' name was out, um, several women came forward giving additional information. From those interviews, we were able to gain information about this. What's wrong with your mask? It's distracting. It's, it's real flippant. Do you need a new one? If you're on the right side, you can bend the bridge, but it looks like you're losing part of it. I just for my sake, you've been yours too. There was, I understand someone who tried to come to the courtroom last week. Understood. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, again, after the press release, a woman came forward, and that's how it led to us finding and interviewing the current victim in this case that did stem previously, but they were all related to what was So, when did she come forward? When I revealed the case, we heard about it after um, the discovery of the child porn in July of 2020. And then after talking to her, she allowed us to find out that the case actually happened previously in 2020. It's very general. So she came forward sometime after July of 2020. You don't know specifically when it was? No, you're wrong. 
I know that after the child pornography case came out, it was a press release. I heard all of that. I was curious to know when she came forward after all of these things happened. I, I know that it was in the summer of probably, I would say, summer of 2023, actually. Right. Anything else? That was part of the conversation. And the two grounds that you cited as the basis of your opposition will fight for the community. Slow down. Let me finish my question and stop talking. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. My question was were the two grounds you cited in opposition to bond, flight risk, and danger to the community? Yes, sir. All right. Anything else? I also cited. Uh, risk of intimidation and potential to commit further challenges. Mm -hmm. Ms. Rondon, anything else on behalf of your client? Yeah, um, your Honor, I would just also like to mention that Mr. Williams is facing some serious medical conditions that would be better addressed and treated outside of the care. Of they would, but he, he was facing those conditions before some of this stuff happened. So if you wanted top medical care, he probably should have thought about that. Before we put himself in a situation where he get arrested, don't you think? Your Honor, I would just ask to please set a reasonable bond in this case. Nothing further. All right. And I appreciate your argument. Uh, the court doesn't believe that there is much that I have to work with. We are looking at a defendant who um, is currently um, under investigation for an aggravated sexual battery and rape case and aggravated sodomy with some related crimes. Um, including trafficking a person for sexual servitude. Uh, it also appears that there are, as has been detailed, four pending complaints in Fulton County against your client, against your client two for theft by deception, uh, both from 2021, a child pornography case, um, charges stemming from an incident that was alleged to have occurred in July 2022, and a third theft by deception charge from July, I'm sorry, June of 2022. In addition, Mr. Williams has four prior convictions, a 1988 theft, a 1990 armed robbery, a 1992 armed robbery, and a 2006 uh, false statements um, case. Significantly for the court, for the two armed robberies from 1992, examining the state, um, Mr. Williams would have served a minimum of 10 years. Mr. Williams, how much time have you served in those two cases? All right, guys, I'm going to go to the next one. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I told you, Judge Adam, do not play, y'all. I told you she do not play. She don't play those games. Just one second, guys, just one second. Uh, Judge Adam was not playing at all. So taking all of those things into consideration, Ms. Rondon, uh, certainly considering the motion that you filed, uh, the arguments of counsel, I find that Mr. Williams is not an appropriate candidate for bond based on all four of the Ayala factors. I do find that he is a flight risk. I find that he poses a danger to the community. I further find that he poses a risk of intimidating and harassing uh, witnesses um, who might be called to testify um, in this matter and obstructing justice. Um, and the fourth factor also applies, I think, in Mr. Williams' case. So for all of those reasons, the defendant's motion for bond is denied. Uh, what are the state's intentions concerning these charges and moving them forward? Or not? Your Honor, the state is working with law enforcement and is intending to have a case in that environment. Your Honor, I'm going to be Is that within the 90 days? It should be done. All right. 
So, Ms. Rhonda, I just try to get that information. I'm just trying to see the show you the person. See that right there, y'all? Do that look like Shirley back there? It does appear that there's yeah, see the lady right there? Do it look like that. Shirley? Look, yes. look, y'all. All right, so that's the September 18th. I was trying to show y'all. It's a probable cause related to these charges has already been found. All right, uh, Mr. Williams, do you understand what's happening, sir? Any questions for the court? Rest your feet, please. Any questions for the court? Mr. Williams, any questions for the court? Uh, you want to do what? Yes. He has matters he would like to discuss with me. We'll discuss that after. Did you? I, I didn't understand what you said. You just want to do what? I'm okay, you are. All right. So you don't you don't have any questions for the court? All right. If there's nothing else, this matter is adjourned. That was it, y'all. I'm gonna show. You, I'm gonna show you. Hold on a second. I'm going to move this this um, notification here. Y'all tell me if this lady looked like Shirley. Because uh, it was four people in the, in the audience, right? And I want to see if that was her. Hold on. Did you? I, I didn't understand. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that lady, y'all. Look. Hold on. So just, Ron Don, I'm just trying to get that information, give you some idea of what we're up against. Okay, look at that lady back there, y'all. You see her? There's a young lady with the glasses and the, um, the, the hair, the braid, and that lady right there. Y'all see her? Who y'all think that look like? I know, I know it's not her. I just, I told somebody that, um, that it looked like her, looked like her. I didn't say it was her. I said, don't it look like her? I know it's not Shirley. I say, look like her. <laughs> I didn't say it was her, y'all. But look, look at her. Look at the lady again. So, because you know how he likes his women to look alike. But it does appear that there was a preliminary hearing conducted. I think we talked about that earlier, correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so that's the September 18, 2003 hearing? Yes. All right, so probable cause related to these charges has already been found. All right, uh, Mr. Williams, do you understand what's happening, sir? <laughs> Any questions for the court? Right, you said she wouldn't dare look like that. I think the lady just didn't know her hair was sticking up because she was sitting in the, the car. Mr. Williams, any questions for the court? You heard what he said. He wants a speedy trial, and then he the the judge asked him, "What you say?" And then the, the his attorney was telling him, "No, no, we'll talk about this behind the scene." And so he wants a speedy trial, a fair and speedy trial. He said, "Hold on." You have any questions for the court? Uh, no, I just want a fair and speedy trial. You want to do what? Yes. He has matters he would like to discuss with me. Did you? I, I didn't understand what you said. You just want to do what? I'm okay, y'all. All right. So you don't you don't have any questions for the court. Okay. All right. If there's nothing else, this matter is adjourned. Okay. So that is that was the whole. He wants a fair and speedy trial. That was the whole um. Hearing. That was it. That was it. And I try to get as much as I could for you guys, as much as I could. Anybody? I'm gonna. Buy, I'm about to go. She was like Jill. <laughs> That's what she was saying. Nah, dude, don't you talk to the judge? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you're welcome, guys. But um, thank you, guys. Hit, hit the like. Hit the like. Share this. Share this live. And those who do use my content. Please give me credit. Please give me credit. That's why I have to put the, the face in here so hard because people don't give me credit. So I have to, you know, I really don't want to do that. But because folks take my stuff and don't give me credit and then I have to do things like that. I know it's very hard for you guys to see because um, that's irritating. That would be irritating for me. If people didn't steal my stuff as much as people has done in the past. You know, they're getting all the millions of views, and I'm just like with the peon with the little bit. Thank you, James. Thank you for the um super chat. Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't want to put my stuff that flat up in there like that. It's just people steal so much from me. Y'all, y'all don't I just don't understand. They be stealing. 
Because the last um, viral thing that went out on from my channel, I got no, no recognition. None. None whatsoever. And, and it's sad because I'm going out there to do the work in the cold, rain, sweet, sleet, snow, you know, and that I don't get the credit, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's hard for me. That is hard. But Pam, I got you, girl. I got you. Got I got my peeps. But um guys, just just make sure that they give me my credit. It's not fair. It's not right. Hey Lex, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to go to the next hearing and the next hearing and the next hearing. I'm going to be at the trial. So guys, I'm going to get the information for y'all. I just need my recognition. That's all. Just a little recognition, you know, just appreciation. I'm not asking much. Thank you, sci-fi. Woo woo. <laughs> Thank you for the that's what that's for everybody who's giving them a super chat today. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate it. Um, but I'm gonna have to go because I have to um see about this. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. Yeah, did I hit 19,000 yet? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if you guys subscribe to my channel. Since there's so many of you guys in here, let me see if you guys love me enough to subscribe because I'm gonna bring you some more stuff, like you know what I mean. Shout out to my ladies. Shout out to um thank you, Shay. Shout out to um to phone call from prison. Shout out to Miss Pam Esquire. Shout out to Miss LLL. Shout out to Chronicle Speaks. You know, I always say shout out those ladies because you know, let me tell you something. This here, this saga that we've been doing, this whole Ernesto thing is such, I mean, it, the, the whole gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Can't one person do it? Cannot one person do it? It takes all of us to do it. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, I'm going to um, go in there. Sylvia, you are the MVP. Oh, yeah. You know, I met L Lily at um, Cardi B's um, trial. That's when I met Lily in person. But guys, I am going to be out there. I'm going to do the work. I just want a little appreciation. You know what I mean? I'm an appreciation girl. That's my love language. Okay? All right? So, um, is there anything? Oh, I got to go to my cash app and see my folks that gave me a cash app. Thank you, Dr. A.C. Cook. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. All right. Thank you, everybody. You guys are making me. You know, I used to cry when y'all give me um cash apps and stuff like that, but I'm I became a big girl. I don't have to cry no more. Thank you guys. We hit we hit nineteen. What? What? Where did we hit nineteen thousand? Ah! <laughs> Look, y'all. I gotta do my dance, y'all. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. We hit the nineteen thousand. We hit the nineteen thousand. No, Randa said we hit. Randa said we hit it. Randa said we hit it. Woo woo! We did it, y'all. We did it. We did it. <laughs> I'm y'all. This has been taking me so long to hit twenty thousand. It's been taking me so long. I'm like, Lord, win, win. Hard work. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited, y'all. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. Thank you. 19,000 subscribers. Wow. I'm like, and when I hit that, look, I'm going to do a, I'm going to twerk for y'all when I hit that 20,000. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, I don't want me to twerk. But thank you guys. Is there anything that you guys would like me to do? Um, I mean, thank you, Lori. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm like, God is so good. He is so good to me, y'all. God is so good. Y'all, oh, I got to do a prayer before I leave this live today. I got to do a prayer. I got to do a prayer. I got to do a prayer. Because God, okay, let me say thank you to the ones that send me cash app. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Trissy. Thank you, um, Latanya. Ah, oh, Vicky! Thank you! 
Big money. Big money. Ooh, spend five. Big money. God, look at y'all. Y'all making the girl like dance over here. Thank you, guys. Y'all making it rain so the girl could dance. Hold on, hold on. Let me say thank you to the people in here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Thank you, Toya, Tanya. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Trissy. Thank you, Latanya. Thank you, Makita. Thank you, Ver Valerie. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And for my people from yesterday, thank you, Love Lace, Love Lie, Love la Face, Front Face, la Lace Front, Lace Front. Thank you, Cross um, Country, her, her Cruiser. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all. Um, thank you. Do you guys what I got one question for you. What do you think about what do you think about this blood thing that this dude did? That that's the thing that stuck with me. Yeah, Chronicle Speaks. Yeah, Chronicle. What is Chronicle Speaks, y'all? Chronicle Speaks. Um oh, thank you. Real talk, Bushy. Thank you for my super chat. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, it's it's another level, isn't it? Isn't it? Another level. It's it's horrible. He they said she he pricked her finger. And then she had to write the con sign the contract in blood. Can you believe that? That is so freaking weird. Thank you, Chef. Do, I mean, isn't that great? Thank you, Edeby. The devil don't believe in God. <laughs> Hello. But he plucked her finger and wrote it in blood. Y'all, you know what? I think somebody needs to say something to Shirley. I, I guarantee you she watching this right now. That young, that whoever the person that came to that was in the um sitting back there, there was four people sitting back there that came there for him. Four people. I just wonder what Shirley was thinking now. Exactly. Thank you, Yanita. Thank you. Yeah, it was weird. But guys, every single um every single court court hearing, I will be right there in his face. I will be right there. I will be right there. Sylvia's the reason why people don't watch TV. <laughs> uh, you it's a reason why because they don't tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Put he put boots on the oh oh Oh, oh, he should, I'm reading what you say. He should have. Thank you, wisely. Thank you. Yeah, okay. This is for all those who gave me cash app, super cash, everything that you gave me and the, the likes and all that. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Thank you, Crafty. Here, here we go. Ready, set, go. We got to play the music for y'all. Hold on. Play my music. Oh, they st it stopped. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. So much Thank you, darling. Thank you, everybody. Shirley, Shirley has her head in the sand per usual. Yeah, I, I must agree with you guys. Um, was that his daughter? I don't know. I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was. All my new members, guys, um, you guys, membership has its privilege. My mods are my members. Um, those who are just became um a member, you're gonna see your your wrench real soon. 
real soon. You're going to see your ranch real soon. You're going to see your mod ranch real soon to all my members. Members has his privileges. Okay. Um, thank you, Sandy. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Lisa. Let me put a, let me, um, thank you for the cash app, Lisa. <clears throat> guys, you guys rock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I always death with older, mature women. Like, I don't, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Devin, I don't know. It might have been Sonia. I don't know. I don't know who that lady was. I don't know. I know she kept her face from looking at me because they were all shocked. Let me tell you. How can I get a ranch? Um, Members get ranches. Members. If you join the membership, you get a ranch. Only members get ranches. I uh, have a feeling Nesto never filed up for the marriage certificate. Surely let him handle everything. I don't even think they even got... Okay, let me tell you. When I search, and I know Chronicles Speaks searched, there is no marriage certificate in the, in the Fulton County. There's no marriage certificate in Cobbs County. Those are the county I actually looked, and there's no marriage certificate in those county. I didn't look myself. I went to the court, and I, I contact the records person, and I walk on to the to the to the window, and I asked them. I gave his date of birth and everything to for them to check the marriage, and there was no marriage, none, none. They got. I think his father got married in 1985. But that's it. Nobody else. Nobody else. He he got that woman's money. He got that woman's money. His attorney is giving you. Oh, you saw that? You saw that? She was giving me the eye. Well, y'all, she did come out to speak with me. She came out to speak with me. Thank you, LCW. Thank you for the cash app. Um, She did come out to speak with me. She came out to speak with me. She asked me who I was. And um, she said there that she, there were certain things she didn't want to put out. And he, I guess he was going to give some private stuff. But since they saw me there, they decided they won't put anything like that out. Yeah. She wanted to know who I was. I don't know. I don't know. It was four people there. Two women and two guys. One huge guy. One big guy, and then the women, um, the girl with the with the braids or twists, whatever she had, and then the lady that I thought looked like Cher um, Shirley. She looked like Shirley. I ain't say she's Shirley. She looked like her. And then you know how he, he likes that same type of look. She's she was not a big woman. She was pretty pretty small. Uh, no, my real parents got killed when I was young. Kenneth Knight, okay. No, Lamont. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know these people. I don't know what they look like. But the, the, the young guy was like Smith Slim. So I don't know. But he, um, he looked like something's going on with him. For real, he does look like something's going on with him. Other than the shackles that he had. Oh, you're welcome. Good night, CA Williams. His son is slim. Oh, okay. It might have been his son. He's slim. It was a slim guy there. Um, Alexia, you could just rewind it and take a look at it. You could rewind it. It's on there. Um, yeah, he's stressing a lot. I only got 558 likes. Really, people? Y'all just dislike me that much that you come and suck up my information and don't hit the like button? That is not nice. That is not nice. She said it's only 55 likes. That is, that is so mean. 
It was, uh, what, 1,700, 1,800 of y'all in here? Thank you, Shell. Oh, I have a thousand likes. I was going by what she said. She said it's 558 likes. That's what she said. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to highlight her statement. Hold on. She said 558 likes. Right here. See, see, Visa says that. See, 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 see. I didn't say it. She said it. Visa, you're getting me in trouble. Michelle says 98. Okay, on um, some people end it shows a thousand, some people other end don't show a thousand. Well, I'm gonna go with the thousand because I see more people saying a thousand. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with the thousand. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the thousand. Thank you, thank you guys. But that still sucks because it was over seventeen hundred in here. All right, I'm gonna go. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the coverage that I did, and I will be at every single hearing. If the Lord gives me breath in my body, I'm going to do it. Um, Chronicle Speaks. Uh, could you email me, please? And Pam. I need, no, Pam, I speak to you behind the scene. Um, I don't know how to slow the chat. Hold on, let me see. You said slow the chat. Hold on, hold on. Let me slow the chat. Chat's going too fast. Hold on a second. Let me see how you slow the chat. Uh, slow mode. Okay. How about that? How does that work? Did it work? Did it work? I just slowed it down. It Did it work? Did it work? Um, oh, it's 1,300 likes now. Okay. Yeah. Um, can, uh, Chronicle speak, um, I need to talk to you ladies. All right, y'all. Um, I'm going to go because I got to go check on the man because he was in an accident. And um, he's fine, y'all. Nothing wrong with him. The car is the worst damage, but he's good. So I got to go check. And you know how it is. You know how men act like babies, right? Y'all know how it is. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much again. Um, let's pray. Uh, it could be. The other one. Yeah, let's pray. Y'all, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you, Lord. Thanking you for a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, Father, for being our head, for being our source. Thank you. Your word says for us to give you honor, to give you glory, to give you praise. So, Father, we praising you right now and giving you all the glory because it deserve, you deserve it, Father God. Lord, without you, we are nothing. But with you, we are everything. And nothing is possible but without, without you. Nothing is possible without you. Father, I thank you. I thank you for our rising up this morning. I thank you, Lord, for your protection as I go went across the highway Thank you, Lord, for protecting every individual in this chat. Those who are near and far, Father God, I thank you for their life. I thank you for just for being who you are in our lives, Father. I just cannot thank you enough. Thank you for favor. Thank you, unmerited favor that you have given to me inside that courtroom, inside that courthouse, Father God. I ask you to bless every individual that enters and leaves that building right now. Father, I ask you just to see about your people everywhere. Lord, you're great. You're awesome. You're wonderful. Father, I pray justice will prevail. Fair justice, equal justice will prevail. Father, I pray for those who are incarcerated. I pray for those who are wrongfully convicted. But I also pray for those who are convicted for because of the things that they have done. I pray that you will change their hearts, change their mind, and help them to do what is right in your sight, Father God. 
Lord, I thank you for my brothers and sisters everywhere. I thank you, Father. I pray for those who are sick, those who are experiencing some, some sort of body disease, Father, whether it's cancer, lupus, migraine, high blood pressure, diabetes, whatever they're in, in dealing with, Father, I ask you, Lord, to heal, heal from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. I pray, Father, for miracles in their lives. I pray for financial blessing, Father God. I pray for those who are suffering, who don't have food to eat, who don't have a place to say, stay, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will give them the resources that they need, Father God. Lord, I pray for every individual in this chat, Lord. As always, Father, I always ask you make it more of you and less of me. Father, I thank you, Lord. Lord, I ask you to let the word of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord, because Father, you are my strength, you are my redeemer. I can be I am nothing without you. Father, because you said I was fearfully and wonderfully made. Every individual in this chat, Father, I pray for them. I pray for their family. I pray for their loved ones. I pray for whatever that is concerning them. I pray that they turn it over to you. And Lord, Father, see about your people everywhere, Father. Father, I thank you. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one from another. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, you guys have an awesome and wonderful day. And don't forget my church music. Here it is, y'all. This is for all the collections. And um, <laughs> let me stop. God bless you guys. Bye. Hold on. Where's the church music at? Hold on. What happened to my church music? Who stopped my church music? Oh, the devil is a lie. They're trying to stop my church music, y'all. Did they stop my church music? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Somebody stop my church music. Guys, they stop my church music. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I know some of you guys asked me. You asked me who was that on the um what was that I posted? That was because of the um <laughs> that is because uh we have a high powerful attorney that's representing us for the, to be able to get into the courtroom for YSL cuz I've been I've got a rule rule 22 but i haven't been able to get inside the courtroom so she's attorney that's going to be representing us the few of us that's trying to get in the courtroom all right
see you later. Bye, guys. Hold on, guys. Play my church music. Bye. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, for some strange reason, y'all tried not to let me go and take care of that man. But let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna answer this question. Question was, did they are they gonna add up the charges back? Yes, they're going to add the charges back. This man gonna end up getting some something really big. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be really big because what they did, they took those charges out and now they're gonna put them back. Once they get everything together, they're going to have a special unit that's going to handle those, those case, that case and going to put it together. Okay. Now, I'm, and listen, I'm gone for real now. I say, I see you guys later. See, I just love being here, but I got to go. I can't go take care of this man. Do you guys want me to take care of this man? Okay. He's, you know, he's moping because he messed up his car. Okay. Can I go, please? Can I go? Hey, okay. Let me go. Bye, guys. I'm not coming back. Don't ask me no more questions. I'm going to keep going. Bye.
Thank you.